Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn how can you create automated addresses within UiPath. For example, if you see in my Excel file, I have created so many addresses using UiPath, auto-generated synthetic data. The same thing, there are certain times requirement is there where you have to enter the address in one box. Certain application might ask you, just enter your address in one box. There could be possibility that application is asking you to enter the details separately. For example, street address separately, city, country, postal code on different different input text boxes. So how do you fulfill both the requirements? I'm going to show you a practical demo from the scratch so that you can learn how can we manipulate this and how can you generate this test data. So this will be interesting. Anybody who watches this video till the end without skipping, please do comment and let me know. This will be great to see people are watching until the end. So let's get started. And don't miss out to subscribe to my channel. Go to my channel homepage and click on the subscribe button beside the logo. And also you can click on the inverted triangle and click on this notification icons to stay updated. So here we have to generate some synthetic addresses, realistic addresses. So what is the very first step? The very first step is, you know, what is the activity you will be using for it? So let me show you what is the activity that we can use. For this, simply type testing and go to data. And here you have something called address. So this is the activity you can drag and drop to your workflow. So address is the activity which is part of your testing activities. Okay, it is part of your testing activities. UiPath testing dot activities. All right, so once you got this, the next thing what we will do, how do you really use it? Now this has got multiple options. One is the country. You can select any of your country as you need. For example, I need addresses only for India or any specific country or any specific city, you can select it or else if you leave it blank, it is going to select any country. It will going to select any city and create an address for you. Okay. So these are the options available for you. Now here is the address column. Okay. So here I'll keep it random country, random city, doesn't matter for me. But if you are very specific, you can make a selection, what whichever country you need. Otherwise you can put it to random country. The next thing, let us create a variable here called random address. Now it is important for you. If you simply print this random address, you will not be able to get any data because this is a dictionary variable. So we need to know what is there inside the dictionary first. Okay. What is there inside the dictionary? You must know. Now for that, what you do, right click on this activity, click on help. This would open the docs.uipath.com for this activity. Now this activity contains certain information which is important to understand. So here it is saying the output of this activity, which is the address property, is a dictionary kind of a property which contains string and string. So one is a key, the other one is a value. And what are the keys available? Country, postal code, street number, street name, city. So these are the codes available. So this is important for you to note. So in this activity, in the address activity of UiPath test activity, these are the different keys available. Now, how do I really use this keys? For example, I want to use the country. I want to get the country name. Okay. So what I will do, I'll use a, let's say message box. Okay, so if you write, take the name of the dictionary and then write the country. So what is the key exactly how to write it? Country, how it is written, double quote and paste it. The job is done. Now, if I'm going to run this, what happens? It will show me any random country because here I've selected random, right? So it will select, it has selected USA. Now, for example, I need postal codes. So all you do simply copy this key and paste it here. So individually accessing it becomes quite easy. Okay. So any country's postal code, it will show you. So you can see 28205. So if you combine like this, like a 
string concatenation if you do random address postal co code plus uh, whatever you need right if you do like this you can easily get the entire address okay so that that is another that is one of the way that you can generate an address for example if i want the entire uh, full address if i need the entire address so this is one by one element and you can store it in, into a variable and create it this is one way let me create a full address okay so how will i create a full address is the question now for that let me show you how you can do it let me first show you in the message box then we'll copy the code so i'm saying random address and the very first thing i will copy paste is country so here i'll get the country then i'll use a plus sign within double quote I, i'll use a comma okay and then within use a plus sign and repeat the same thing repeat the same thing for example i want after country i need the uh, for example the very first thing what you need the street name you need right instead of country so first i need street name so let me write street name then i need street number so i'll write the street number random address street number and then use a the same thing you have to repeat okay so let me copy this and paste it here and then after street number what you need for example i need uh, the city i need the city so i'll say city getting it and then use a plus sign then let's say i need uh, again copy paste the entire thing it's a matter of just you know continuing how you need it and then after city uh, let's say i need the postal code we'll stop it here so like that you can you know how to generate it now after the city i'll say postal code okay so this is how you have do a concatenation and keep on getting if you need an entire full letter so like that you can continue so let me hit on save so if i run this now okay so you can see i have got some address now for example if i can run it again okay so let's add one more thing is country so that we understand which country it is coming from okay so what you will do again copy it till here and paste it and here i will say country save it okay so you can see okay some uh, romania it is from romania the postal code and city and all of those things have come so this has become an address now the next question that comes to your mind rak is how do we really store this store or write it to an excel file for that let me show you a pretty simple uh, let me delete okay so here here i have what i have done i have used a build data table activity and i have kept only one column let's say address and then i have used a while loop let's say i need around 50 records so counter value i have set it to 0 and then in the body i have used a counter counter plus 1 and add data row where i'll be adding the address variable add data row to data table so now how what you do this uh, code that you have written here right so instead of this let us use assign activity assign activity and here let's create a variable called address and simply copy use so you can customize this code it is pretty simple just using a concatenation you can achieve it hit on save let me delete the message box save it and what you do is copy this thing or you can invoke the workflow that is also uh, i think that that'll be more easy so instead of this uh, what i will do is i'll invoke the workflow invoke because i've kept it in a separate uh, xaml file so let's select it let's select automation what is that uh, scenario one right okay so let me select that scenario one i believe this is the one done now um okay the problem is i have not created arguments and all that okay leave it so that is another you can create arguments and do it let me simply copy it for the demo purpose 
copy go here and paste okay so i got the address now the address will be written into an excel file so i am writing this excel file using the excel process scope right range to sheet number nine so in the sheet number nine i already have certain addresses let me simply delete it save it and run it again okay feels like the execution is complete let's go back and you can see it has created the address as i need italy the, the country name is coming at the end so you can customize how you need so you can pretty well see the random synthetic addresses were created okay all right i hope this video might have helped you if this video is helping you do not forget to like the videos that you're watching on my channel and support me Thank you guys for watching. Let's meet once again in the next video with some new learnings every day. And don't miss out to subscribe to my channel. Go to my channel homepage and click on the subscribe button beside the logo. And also you can click on the inverted triangle and click on this notification icons to stay updated.